Then we move on to y'all's boy. We're going to keep our eyes on this fucking system. But let's move on to y'all's boy, Kanye West. And we're going to tie all this shit back in together. We're going to put it, we're going to frame this shit and put it all together. But Kanye West has been gifted, uh, been gifted the position of having a platform. People respected Kanye when he first came out. Black people really, really had a lot of respect for Kanye when he first came out with the way his sound was, with the the, the realness of the way he was spitting his bars. Not that they were super complicated, but it was just what he was saying was real. He wasn't trying to fake be gangster or no shit like that. He was just being real. Black people like Kanye West. Black people, if you have been following the saga of Kanye West, then you've seen him go through his would-be ups and downs. You've seen him go through here. You've seen him be on some, what some would perceive as pro-black shit, speaking the truth about, you know, the government and things like that. You've seen him get on live TV and say, George Bush doesn't care about black people in front of the entire world. We deemed Kanye as woke. Every time he comes out here and does something that you like, wait, what? People have a tendency to save Kanye West. They save him. Every time. Every time we, we dealing with clones, we're dealing with he's being mind controlled. We 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 act like there is no such thing as somebody becoming a coon. We act like it only works one way. You go from coon to uh, revolutionary and there is no downside. There is no downward slope. There is no, uh, you know, a lack of progression, regression even. Uh, like, y'all quit saving these motherfucking coons. Quit saving them because he chose his side. He'll come out here, say a little shit, come back out here, say a whole lot of coon shit, come back out. Like he gets to, you know, have y'all walk through this path with him where he get to be wishy-washy as fuck. And we don't have time for that. Don't nobody got time for him to be talking about slavery was a fucking choice. Really? In what context? People going in on his ass for saying slavery was a choice. People are even caping for him or saying they understand what he was saying when he said slavery was a choice. For black people to even be agreeing in any type of way. Because again, here's another situation where you put some shit out there and you do not frame it. Slavery was a choice? How so? Please tell me more. I want to hear the entire logic of saying that slavery was a choice. Because when you have a choice, you're looking at not dying because you don't do it. I don't, you know, I don't understand what the fuck you mean. That's not a choice. That's death. That's consequence. What are you talking about? Y'all thought he was black power. I mean, I listen to Watch the Throne. I listen to Watch the Throne. And really, Watch the Throne, him and Jay-Z's album, Kanye was killing his ass on the album, talking about uh, black empowerment. Before Jay-Z did that 444 shit, he made the album Watch the Throne, where they both was going in on that same type shit. Kanye was killing him on that album. You thought he was on some woke shit. When you come out here and, and say some old ignorant ass shit and don't frame it and then wearing Make America Great Again hats and you're not framing any of this. You're just saying it was a choice. You got black people that would agree to this shit that will disrespect your ancestors that was born into a system of slavery. It wasn't like it was the beginning of slavery every goddamn year. 
You're born on plantations. What you mean? A choice? You can't just leave. No matter what point you're trying to make, it can't start off with slavery was a choice. And a lot of y'all will say this dumb shit like, well, if it had been me back then, I would have just died. No, the fuck you wouldn't have. No, you wouldn't have. You wouldn't even boycott a goddamn business right now, but you were saying that you would have died back then if you would have been on a plantation. You don't know that for sure. What you mean? What are you talking about? You're saying this to prove your gangster of present day you scared to get fired from your job. You scared to get evicted from your house. What are you talking about? You would have just died. What is that to even say? You can say you would have hoped you would have been in the right mind, but you don't know where the fuck you would have been born into a system like that where this shit is normal. Where all you have is the feeling inside that it ain't right. Most people around you, they've grafted it as normal, like we have right now to this day. We can't even get out of this matrix, but you saying with that type of brutality going on, you would have faced that type of brutality. A lot of y'all wouldn't even have fucking risked taking some lashes from a fucking whip. Y'all wouldn't even have did that, but y'all talking about y'all would have died. No, you wouldn't have. Most of y'all would not have fucking died. Stop lying. Just to make yourself feel better than your fucking ancestors, you will tell this lie that you've created in your ego that you would have been about that life. You'd have ran out when motherfuckers got guns and you got fucking knives and shit. When the whole state gonna be coming for your ass, you, you would have stood strong. That's a fucking lie. Harriet Tubman even said that's a goddamn lie. When she was freeing slaves, she said it was a lie. She could have freed more if they'd have known they was even slaves. But you different. Kanye gets to come out here, say shit like this. Some black people will cake for him. Some black people will make excuses for his motherfucking coon ass. I listened to his little interview that he did with Charlemagne. I sit through this fucking bullshit. I listen to him talk about, now he does have some interesting concepts about how we perceive certain things in this reality. And Kanye has always had pretty interesting concepts. But when you get to the issue of why the fuck you sitting around supporting Donald Trump, this motherfucker says nothing but that, oh, well, he's non-conventional. Him Getting to be the president means that anything can happen in America. Really, Kanye, this is what you're grafting yourself towards. This is how you connect it with Donald Trump. Your explanation is that his presidency with your coon motherfucking ass, his presidency is what lets you know that anything can happen in America. How? George Bush didn't care about black people. His presidency didn't make you believe that anything could happen. Donald Trump's did, even though most people didn't even vote for him. Why, why are you talking and justifying your viewpoint from a political vantage point? That doesn't even make any sense. Democrats, Republicans, we will have these conversations. But this shit ain't real. This election shit ain't real. But we'll talk about it like it's real. This motherfucker gonna say, well, he said this shit because Donald Trump was unconventional. He is unconventional. This y'all's boy though. And y'all still caping for him. Still caping for him. Still coming up with excuses for him. Like he had to say this shit. Like he had to tweet all this fuckery out. And he act like, you know, this is him just being different. This is him being non-constrained mentally. This is him being free. 
but you're not free, Kanye. You've alluded to the fact that you're not free on multiple times. If you're free already, if slavery is a choice, then why are you still fighting to be equal? What are you talking about? You got you a white woman. He then went, went and got him a white woman. And now all of a sudden, even as he says in this interview, he experiences racism. This motherfucker wanna say slavery is a choice when you going through racism isn't even a choice. That's not a choice. That's something that is being inflicted upon you that you really have no control over. You can only react to it once it happens to you. That's not choice. That doesn't make any sense for it to even be framed as choice. If I had a choice, there would be nobody being racist towards black people. That'd be my choice. So I ain't even got to have these fucking conversations. I don't even got to come on here and try to get black people to tap into their pride and stop letting motherfuckers like Kanye West get off the hook every time he come out of his fucking mouth and say some coon shit. We have to be better about that. Now, all of a sudden, he can't free himself from racism. But slavery was a choice, which is much more brutal than the racism that we deal with uh, right now. Much more brutal back then. Much more fear would be in the heart of people back then. But that was a choice. You crying about the fact that you ain't Louis Vuitton in them. You want to be equal to them. They won't even let your bitch ass have clothes. You don't even got a choice in that. What are you talking about? How are people taking this dude seriously? How are black people supporting this narrative? You'll have black people that will even say that slavery was a blessing. We know this. We hear this type of narrative coming from black people. And we cannot continue to let them off the motherfucking hook or act like that shit just going to go away. And he can't even fucking explain himself. Talking about Donald Trump unconventional. Anything can happen in America. Clearly, we see that anything can happen in America. They're murdering black people on a damn near daily basis. And the cops is getting off. Donald Trump went in. That wasn't at what point I saw in America that anything can happen. And it does happen on a pretty regular basis, especially at the expense of melanated people. And particularly at the expense of melanated people. Anything can happen. He made a song where he talked about new slaves, where he he's alluded to understanding the privatized prison complex. Anything can happen. Like, I, I don't understand any black person that would be supporting Kanye West with this bullshit that's coming out of his fucking mouth right now. Even if to you guys, he's able to try to frame it in a way where it makes sense to where it's just him being different, him being free and not controlled by popular opinion to just say he hates Trump just because people want him to. You don't have to say that you hate Trump, but ever since you said that George Bush don't care about black people, by now you should realize that the entire system doesn't care about black people. So that should be the grounds that you're standing on. I haven't gotten on here once and just came out, I hate Donald Trump. Not once. For what? The system. That's before him, after him, during him. I hate that shit. Kanye ain't made it to that level. Y'all view this dude as a goddamn genius. A genius. And when his album drop, y'all gonna be all over it.
People are going to listen to it. I think they're going to be disappointed. If you're expecting the old Kanye, as y'all deem him, to come back, the one that was doing a little bit more posturing and lying to y'all. He was doing a little bit more posturing and lying. You, you can tell the fabric and quality of a person if you look at what they've done through their longevity. If you see that he was on some kind of like on some type shit, but then he just then fell off and he'll come back and he'll fall off again hard. That's not a motherfucker that's serious. That's not a motherfucker you should be claiming as revolutionary. Now, what you can say is that you still respect him as an artist. You could say that if you liked Jesus, if your eardrums are so fucked up and you're that much of a fan that you like terrible albums that this dude doesn't put out, fine. But to speak on his mental state, to excuse his mental state, like he gonna be healed and come back to the fold. Y'all, when you look at what the fuck coons have done throughout history and how this system have used coons to uh, represent black people and to influence black people, you, you got to see that shit. You have to see that shit. 